Hi traders, I finished my day in green today as you can see here I've got uh, several green trades, three green trades and uh, two losing trades. One of my losing trades is Rivian and the end result is green. I mean I'm over six grand and I'm still riding some stocks like uh, Tesla but you know what I, I really want to talk today about my losing trade in Rivian because I think education wise this should be a very interesting uh, lesson here before we talk about the trade I would really appreciate if you give us a thumb up if you like this video and don't forget it is Black Friday right now so we've got some amazing prices for our funded account program you can look at the links right here below it starts at $290 for education trading room access and a $14,000 funded account again links right here below so let's talk a little bit about my Rivian trade. First, Rivian was on my shortlist today. I started uh, pre-market today uh, with uh, looking at Rivian and it gapped down today. So I thought it should be a gap and go. And also kind of like the daily of Rivian, I think it should continue coming down. And although the market's moving up today, I really like to short Rivian today. So I was waiting and I was uh, watching Rivian right at the open and looking for a trade, but I couldn't find one. Why? Because take a look at the one minute candles here. The Rivian just started with a gap down today and just kept coming down. When you have a stock that is starting this way and just coming down, you just don't have the right technical formation. If you look for a technical formation to go short, you need it to pull back up a little bit. Now, it's not just the technical formation. It's about the failure of the buyers to push it higher. You know, it started down. I mean, Rivian right now is down 10%, but it started like 5% or 6% down. So, uh, you know, you expect a stock like that to gap and go, meaning to come down. And as you can see right now, it is coming down quite a bit. But I had a losing trade. And I couldn't join it once initially it came down again because it did not pull back up. So my second best choice was to wait for a pullback relatively at the low range and short it once it reverses. And that happened right over here. So I shorted it and you can see that the result was very bad. I had a losing trade there. Now, to start with, I took Rivian with smaller size today. Why? Because if I could have had the chance to short it at the first few minutes, if, assuming, it would have put moved up a little bit, it did not, and then come down, it did not, then I would probably short it uh, full size because I was expecting a failure, which you can see is coming right now. But it did not pull back up. So I took the second best choice. After it was extended to the downside, I was hoping it's going to continue. There was nothing wrong about it. It's the right thing to do. Just that, you know, it's trading. We don't always succeed. So I shorted Rivian right over here. It looks well. It looks like a nice reversal. It should have continued coming down. Well, should have. Over 50% will continue coming down. This one did not. Now it started going sideways. Now here comes the, 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 the second important part. I mean, the first important part is, of course, notice where it's going to continue coming down. Think that you've got the right technical formation and short it with smaller size. So I shorted smaller size right over here. Why? Because it was not the best choice I had. The best choice would have been at the beginning if it would have moved up. It did not. So it was my second best choice. Second best choice, smaller size. So I started with around 50% of my normal size. Okay now, so I'm expecting it to come down. It did not. It started going sideways. Again, these are one minute candles. It started going sideways. Now, when a stock you, you short, it doesn't matter if you short or you long, is you expect it to come down. And the stock just doesn't. You expected it to come down with a beautiful momentum. Look at the momentum. It had the momentum. Just one candle pulling back up and then coming down again. It should have moved under the lows with a nice downside momentum. It started drifting sideways. It just went sideways for like one, two, three, four, five, six minutes or so. So stock started going sideways. Now, at this point, there's two options. One, the best option, move out altogether. Why didn't I move out? Because just like you, I have a mental problem uh, getting out of a losing trade. I mean, it was not a losing trade at that point. It was playing in between green and red, but it did not prove to me that it really wants to continue coming down. So that I would consider 
a losing trade. I expected it to come down. It did not come down. So to start with right now, at that point, I have a problem. The stock is not going my way. So if it's not going your way, the best thing is move out altogether. But if you do have the same mental problem I have, you know, you click the button, you move out and then it crashes down and you hate yourself. Why couldn't I hold a little bit more? Well, the best solution is to reduce size. So I reduced a little bit more of 50% of the original size I had. Now, remember, the original size was lower size. The, the, the size I reduced was approximately half or a little bit more than half of my low size. So I was left with relatively small size. Now, I don't trust the stock anymore. And as you can see, the result was very bad. Now, the rest of my size, I mean, still low, I moved out at this point over here. So technically speaking, I moved out at the right point. And look, it continued to move higher another two and a half points. So I had a two and a half point stop loss right over here. And it continued another two and a half points. Just imagine if I had my full size or my half size, the one I started with, I could have had a much bigger loser. So what I'm trying to say here, and, and, and again, it does not matter that it continued to come down later. I, we, we thought about taking a second trade here later in the room. Uh, somehow we decided not to take it. The reason I really didn't take that trade is because I had the first losing trade. When you have a first losing trade, you're kind of thinking, well, is the reason I'm, I want to get into this trade now is because it's a revenge trade or is it really looking good? So I'm not sure it's, it, I was not sure it really looks good. Um, I had a poll in the room. Most people said you shouldn't. I didn't. Well, you can see the result. I, I, I probably should have. But again, uh, a second trade in, in a stock that you already had a loser in is normally not recommended because you never really know if you're taking it because it's the right technical formation or taking it because you want a revenge trade. And I really had a good reason for a revenge trade. Anyways, uh, I'm not talking about my second mistrade. I'm talking about my first one. Stock was going sideways. It's a good reason to reduce size. Sometimes when you have a winner, you're adding to a winner, which is the right thing to do because you trust it and you feel like you should have more size. If you have a winning head, like if you're playing blackjack and you've got uh, 11 showing and your dealer has six showing, you should double down. That's what you do when you have a winning hand. But what happens if you have a losing hand? Maybe move out maybe lower your size so today happened what you you know the, the 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 scenario of why you should be lowering your size and that just happened to me in rivian so if you like this video please give us a thumb up we would really appreciate it and you can subscribe to this channel right over here and you can join trade that there's links right here below it's black friday now and the best deal we ever had is 290 dollars you can just join now with 290 dollars and get education trading education you can join our trading room it's the same price $290 and it also comes with a funded trading account. You can trade a $14,000 funded account with just $290. That is if you're not from the US of A. So we would really appreciate uh, if you join us or just give us a like. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow.